If you've never heard of Gear Up, it is a program that comes into your school and they just prepare you for life. It's a STEM-based program that centers around helping middle school students, like 6th and 7th grade, get through high school and learn what they want to do after high school. Gear Up not only gets to know the person, they really push education and academic opportunities. They check on your mental health. There's not a lot of programs that do that. It's more than just a program. It's something that influences like kids that come from low-income family and provides that support for them to be able to grow, to achieve whatever they want to believe in. So my name is Virginia Bolshakova. I am faculty of ecology and science education in the College of Education at Purdue University, and I'm the executive director for the Indiana Gear Up program. We support students in low-income communities across the state of Indiana. We're in 10 school districts across the state. We have supported over 13,000 students to help them get prepared to launch into their career after high school. One of the reasons that really attracted me to this project Project was the unique opportunity to work with students starting when they're in seventh grade and getting to work with the same group of students all the way through their first year after they graduate high school. Gear Up brings this opportunity where you can have the same staff member, the same coordinator that's walking with students across schools, across grades, across experiences, and they really kind of start to serve as, as a mentor. Some students may not have someone that they can reach out to. They may not feel comfortable coming to a principal. They may not feel comfortable going to a teacher, but they really feel comfortable going to say like Miss Johnson. Sometimes students just want to be heard and we give them that support. It's like whatever they need in order to get them where they need to be. We provide that opportunity for them. Trust is built by consistently showing up and having those relationships over time. They're just like family. I mean they've met my family, really gotten to know us. Just like that second mother like in high school, she always get on me on my grades. <laughs> He's sort of like a father figure, kind of like a parental figure, definitely a leadership figure in my life, definitely a mentor. I think maybe the most valuable part about our staff is that they're local as well. I grew up in the communities. Some of them even went to the same high schools. A lot of them went to the local colleges where a lot of the students will be going to. So they are really like a support system for students and for teachers and for principals. The Gear Up program's able to provide additional staff and support both in the classroom and out of the classroom. They're not just someone that comes in and dumps money in and, and go off. They get into the nitty gritty. They come and put boots on the ground. They meet families. They meet students. They sit in with, with teachers. Gear Up made sure to follow us. They came to our classroom, especially our math, science, and English classes make sure we're doing all right in there if we needed any tutoring. You know, we provide family diner nights for families to come in, get to learn together alongside their student, how to support their students. We help with financial aid, scholarship information, like what options do students have after school. Every place you go, Europe looks a little different, and it should. We know our communities already have a lot of people that really care about their students, and what Gear Up is best at is putting them in the right place to serve students well. Let's see who's already doing this and doing that and pull them all together together instead of recreating the wheel and everyone trying to do the same things. As we radiate out in this community model, these kids are able to network and get a support system on their own. They're making these connections and able to use them without us. We're building self-sufficiency in these students, which is what they need. They're more so of a, not a college readiness program, but a life readiness program. In our after school programs and summer programs, we try to give them experiences to see like, do you enjoy coding? Do you enjoy art? Do you enjoy building? So I found out, wow, I really have an interest in cooking. So once Gear Up heard that, they took it, ran with it. They started showing me cooking shows, programs, books, and I found out it was a passion of mine. With a kid, shows an interest in something that nobody on our team is good at. Cool, we'll find you somebody. Who is somebody who can mentor you or talk to you or somebody who's done this job so you kind of know what you're getting into? I said, hey, I want to do this. Perfect. Europe sends me a list of schools. They sent me up with internships. They set me up with chefs to speak with. I mean, I've never really met a program that'll go above and beyond to help you follow your passion and dreams. We really do believe that success looks different for everyone. A lot of programs are like, oh, we know that you need to go to a four-year college to be successful, and that's what they push. We push, let's find your path, let's find your passion, what you want to do, what you're good at. We help you get there. If you're the first in your family to pursue a college degree, we want to make that less daunting so they can actually focus on the academics and not have to worry about all the extra things that are around it. Seventh and eighth grade, they were doing college visit trips. They said, here are your options. We're going to provide you with those tools so that you can get there if that 
the pathway you want to take. They prepared me for the SAT, the ACT, after school like tutoring for those kind of things. They assisted me with my FAFSA. All of the scholarships that I got wouldn't have been like possible without the help of like the girl staff. When we go to colleges, we want students to think about what career might they use that college degree for or that education beyond high school for. I'm studying culinary arts. So of course I uh, needed a knife set. All I had to do was contact Gear Up bought the knife set for me. Europe would often give packets of how to study. I was able to like form an actual study schedule from the tips and tricks that they gave us. And then they also helped provide me with resources as well as like textbooks. Even till now that I'm in college, they still support me with like my books and they support me with anything that I need. They're just like a, a resource. We'll occasionally send out things to kids like little gift boxes when they go to college. We get pictures and they're like, oh, I got my box in the mail today, and they're all excited. Or a kid calls and says, hey, I got a box in the mail and I didn't graduate, but I really want to get my GED. Can you help me? Yes, we can help you. Students who've participated in our program are going on to colleges and career opportunities at a much higher rate. It's changing generations of families and trajectories of lives. I've seen students just completely turn 180, like completely. And it's due to the fact of the camaraderie and the social emotional support that they receive from being in our Gear Up. When we look at the data from the seven years that we've done Gear Up, we're seeing highly significant changes in these students' outcomes. We can directly tie the number of hours that you participated in Gear Up with your post-secondary persistence. I would have uh, most likely never continued my education. I wouldn't have been able to even thought about like attending college without them. To be able to be a part of a program that can open up those doors of opportunities is something that I, I can't think of a better thing to do with my life. It is an insurance the youth of today will definitely succeed after high school. Indiana students are enrolling in college at a lower rate than the rest of the nation. And Hoosiers from low-income families are even further behind. But even if they make it to college, youth from under-resourced communities are often underprepared for the challenge of post-secondary education and have trouble completing a degree or work credentials. So how do we help change this? That's where we come in. Introducing Indiana Gear Up. Our mission is simple. Empower Hoosier students for success by decreasing educational barriers to open doors for more career opportunities. In fact, it's in our name, gaining early awareness and readiness for undergraduate programs. Gear up might be a little easier to remember than that. Our primary objective is to connect students to the resources they need when they need them. So what does this look like? Simply put, it looks like helping students discover what they want to do, and then empowering them to do it. It looks like advocating for them and not giving up on them when they fail, and teaching them to advocate for themselves. It looks like helping teachers take their skills to the next level through professional development workshops. It looks like bringing communities together by partnering with existing programs organizations, and resources. It looks like providing after-school, summer, and leadership programs to help students find their voice. It looks like giving them first-hand experiences with various career options and taking them on college visits. It looks like educating students and parents on financial aid and scholarship opportunities and helping them apply. It looks like being there for a student's first year of college and providing textbooks and free tutoring. Unlike other programs, Indiana Gear Up is in it with the students for the long haul. We stick with the same students all the way from seventh grade until their first year after high school, supporting their transition to adulthood. Since 2016, we have served over 13,000 students across 10 school corporations. Over 3,000 family members have participated along with their students in more than 53,000 hours of programming. 
In addition, over 3,000 educators from across the state have participated in our professional development workshops. Together, we are making a difference. In fact, data has shown that students who are involved with Indiana Gear Up are more likely to reach college and career readiness benchmarks on the SAT, more likely to graduate from high school, more likely to enroll in college and career training, and more likely to persist in completing their college degree. Not only has Indiana Gear Up helped close the opportunity gap for Hoosier students from under-resourced communities, we've also helped students enter the workforce or join the military. You see, Indiana Gear Up isn't just about college. It's about supporting students on their path to success. Because we don't just want students to succeed in school, we want them to succeed in life. At Indiana Gear Up, we are in the persistent pursuit of positive, life-changing impact. I am Faith Taylor. I'm a freshman at Hanover College and I am studying engineering. I grew up in Crawford County, Indiana, and I went to Crawford County High School. It's a small county. Everybody knows each other pretty well. If you've never heard of Gear Up, it is a program that comes into your school and they just prepare you for life. Seventh and eighth grade, they were doing college visit trips. And I think most importantly, they said, there's a lot of scholarships out there. You shouldn't be going to college worried about how you're gonna pay for it. Stacy Kishin, she's the Gear Up coordinator. She was there right from the beginning. She'd be walking around the school and she'd be going, hi Faith. She started emailing me a lot about like going to Purdue and stuff like that. She was just always right there saying, here's another opportunity, are you gonna take it? What I appreciate about Faith was one of the first times I went to the little Pioneer Village and I found her with her parents and grandparents playing music and dressed in period costume. She's just a very family-oriented person. When I was about eight, my Nana started helping me like learn how to play guitar and stuff. I've been playing guitar ever since then, and I slowly like, picked up the mandolin. It's a really fun thing that I can say that I do with my grandparents. My papa, he's just always working on something. I mean, he grew up in a very rural county. You had to learn how to do stuff on your own, I guess. I think I just wanted to be one of those people that knew how to do that stuff, and I think Engineering just kind of came to be the path for me. It's very rewarding to watch these kids finally try to figure a path, whatever path that is. We set up a career fair that uh, Crawford County had never had before, and it's been very successful. You try to just reach out and let them know how many different things are out there in the world because they're in this rural area that they don't get a lot of exposure. I went to a college and career fair. I walked up to a Purdue Polytechnic booth and I was like, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about being an engineer. And the lady was like, yeah, you should definitely be an engineer. And I was like, okay. And she was like, well, we need a lot of women engineers. Like, there's not a whole lot of women engineers in this field. And it, like, a light bulb went off. It kind of just like motivated me. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Like, let's go. Gear Up invited us to go to San Francisco for their annual conference. They do a year at, at DC and then they go to San Francisco and it's on and off each year that way. I really had no clue what takes you back. It was definitely kind of like a culture shock to me and it was very overwhelming. I met several people from Hawaii. Like that's kind of unheard of when you come from a rural county. I didn't fully process. This is like a countrywide thing until you go to that conference and like each table is like representing a state and they're like, you know, they'll announce your state and everybody's just freaking out and throwing things in the air and all excited to represent. It was like just a whole week of just understanding like, I need to be able to connect with other people and I need to be able to say, I respect you. I may not believe in the things that you believe, but I respect you. And we did a lot of activities that just like opened my mind. It was the summer before I went to college too. And I think it couldn't have been a better time. Gear Up taking me on that trip and just giving me that opportunity, they really got me out of my shell. And I really needed that. And they really just showed me that it's okay to be in an environment where you don't know anybody and you don't really know what you're doing. And that's how life is gonna be like, you know? I had applied to a lot of different colleges and I'm sitting on my couch one afternoon and I get a text and it's like, wanna hear about a full ride 
to Hanover's engineering program and so I filled out the whole application, took a tour of the campus, did an interview, and I was just like, there's no way, there's no way I'm getting this scholarship. And then I get another text back that's like, congratulations, you got a full ride. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, is this a scam? No. I never pictured going to Hanover, but Gear Up definitely taught me, you know, take advantage of those opportunities. Even right now in college, like I'm still hearing from them. I just went and spoke on a panel about what it's like to be a student in a rural county. They send me packages every once in a while. I've gotten two packages since I've been off to college. The first one had just like school supplies and stuff. So I got like a bunch of post-it notes. They also come with like a little folder that's like, you wanna learn how to budget or do you need help getting more scholarships or do you need books for college? I'm shocked that they're still sending me stuff and still like, talking to me and stuff, I guess, because I feel like that's a real problem within school. Once you go to college, it's like, okay, bye. But no, gear up right there. It definitely just changed my life, changed how I viewed everything. My name is Joseph Coburn. I'm from uh, Gary, Indiana. I also graduated from Westside Leadership Academy. I met Joseph when he was in eighth grade. Joseph was pretty quiet. He was the one that was always hiding behind me and telling me to order something or, Mom, you talk to him. I picked up an interest in cooking when I was about uh, 13. One day he walked up to me and he said, Dad, can you show me how to scramble an egg? And I said, well, yeah. He said, Dad, that's easy. I can do that. And so I kind of dabbled into it, but I really wasn't that interested in it. Then to go from middle school into high school was like an entirely different world. Then COVID happens. So now I've gone from going to class and doing work to rolling over in the morning, logging on to my computer, then going right back to sleep. Most programs shut down at that point, but we immediately started up a virtual after school space. Created a Google Meet classroom and we're like, maybe some students will come, maybe they won't. And Joseph was there at the first after school meeting. So it was good to have gear up to say, hey, did you get up and do your work today? Or did you just sit there? I'm like, uh, so you just sat there, didn't you? Okay, let's look into this. Is this hard? What do you need to do? We had never been virtual, so nobody really knew what to do. And not much you can do when you're in a virtual space besides talk, and so we got really creative. I mean, we're on the computer trying to do STEM activities, shipping stuff to people's houses. Some might go to the wrong house, and your package gets stolen. He was interested in chess, so we started playing chess every day after school through like a virtual program. We got real competitive at times. That started a really fun relationship, kind of based around just interests like that. And so I have time to explore myself. So I found out, wow, I really have an interest in cooking. So once Gear Up heard that, they took it, ran with it. They started showing me cooking shows, programs, books. And then he just made the decision, I wanna be a chef. I was excited, cause now I can get good food and I don't have to cook it. Gear Up sends me a list of schools, sent me up with internships. They set me up with uh, chefs to speak with. I mean, I've never really met a program that'll go above and beyond to help you follow your passion and dreams. And then his junior year, we were able to do a summer conference in Washington, D.C. We have a little nomination process. We have 8,000 students across the state, and Joseph was one of eight that got picked. Gary, to a lot of people, it's their world. They know nothing else. So for them to take me and a few other kids and say, hey, let's go on the East Coast to Washington, D.C. and meet people from all across the U.S. and U.S. territories, it was amazing. Really getting to network with other kids my age and see that we're not so different after all. One activity I remember was they had us take a piece of wood and you wrote on there your greatest fear. Mine's, I believe, was fear of failure. Then you put it on two cinder blocks and they showed us how to break the board. So I'm thinking, I can't break a board. But they showed us what to do. I said, just do that. So I went, boom, broke the board. I'm shocked. I didn't think I could do it. And so that was like symbolizing you can break through your fear of failure. I met Ms. Johnson at our first conference in Washington, D.C. He began with Steve as a mentor. And then when I started at Westside, he became my baby. Well, Ms. Johnson is really passionate about helping the kids. I mean, in high school, she always stayed on us, made sure our work was done. We had all of our buckets filled for graduation. She also made sure that we not only had some type of certification before we graduated, that we also had a general idea of what we wanted to do after high school. I was able to explore not just culinary arts, but what I could do with it. Europe serves as that support to them to give them that push to let them see the options that they have in life and let them be able to choose from those options. Europe not only follows you from middle school to high school, they also follow you to college, 
the transition from high school to college was a culture shock. I mean, I'm going from six classes a day, doing work in each class and having homework after, to probably two classes a week, once a day. You know, nobody to really stand over me and say, hey, do your work, this needs to get done. It's all on me. So I thought, hey, I don't need to do this. So I decided to take a semester off. Well, Garib did not allow that. Joseph emailed me and he told me that he was not in school. I told Joseph, you know I'm about to call you. That's how I responded to the email. He immediately contacted me. She asked me, what's going on? Why don't you want to be in school? Why do you feel this way? And we had that, what does he tell me, auntie, nephew talk. Some things that I told him was that I felt that if he took a year off, he would not go back. She really sat me down and explained to me why school was so important for my future and why having an education really doesn't hurt. And so with her help, I found out I really enjoy this. I like learning. I might not like school itself and doing work. <laughs> Still don't. But I enjoy learning, learning new things, meeting new people. We set three goals on that phone call. And I told him, when I see you at our bowling trip, you're going to have one, two, and three completed. And he said, yes, ma'am. And he hung up the phone. They uh, helped me set up a study schedule, get a routine together, set my priorities straight. They really made sure like, you won't jeopardize your future. School is really important. And I'm really glad they did it for me. When I saw him at bowling, he told me he was back in school and he had done one, two, and three. Now I'm able to hold myself accountable, and that's something a lot of people can do. I'm also not so overly critical of myself. Now I understand that, hey, it's okay to fail, but it's more important that you come back from failure. And failure can really help me progress in my career and my future. Just let me think. 50, 50 years when I'll be like 72, hey, six, sure. 62. Looking back, what do you want your legacy to be? I want people to know me as a person who really enjoyed what they did. Once I uh, graduate my associate's degree from Ivy Tech, I plan to try and find a good internship or restaurants to go work in. Then eventually as I get older, trying on a steakhouse someday, JC Steak. I really want people to not just go and eat, but enjoy the ambiance, the atmosphere, the whole process of cooking. I want them to see how it's done. When you're passionate about it, you can really tell in the food. I want people to really know that not only I followed my passion, but that I also helped others. I want others to also follow their passion. And I really, really appreciate what Garib has done for me. Because without him, I would have most likely never continued my education. They wanted to make sure that that I had a set future, and that I would do what I love. I'm September Kocek. I'm a student here at Purdue. I grew up in Jeffersonville, Indiana. September is a personality. Like, as soon as you meet her, you're like, this kid is going somewhere. She's one of these people that everybody gravitates to her. When she gets interested in something, she's gonna do it. She's gonna be the best, and she is the best. The shift from elementary to middle school is very, very tough. I went from the gifted program to like higher level classes that I obviously hadn't been ready for. And then I met Gear Up. I remember being up on a stage and we were trying to show the kids like, this is the different things we're gonna do. And um, this is what you'll get to see and have more experience with. So we had these big hissing cockroaches, you know, climbing up on our arms and the kids are ooing and aahing about it. They were pitching the summer camp. It was free and they provided free transportation. I was like, this is something I can do. Coming from like a lower income family who like didn't have like a means of transportation to like to and from the camp. And so I signed up for it. And on the first day, I missed the bus. <laughs> The second day though, it was amazing. There was like collective activities. There was dodgeball and like sports. I think we made bath bombs at some point, which is like more than the science aspect. We learned how to prepare lots of food. And then we went and collected insects, which was really cool. September was one of those student leaders who we could always tap on and she would give us feedback on. You know, maybe next time we should try a little bit more of this. And some of her ideas were, were kind of like, it's almost an adult idea idea and you're in seventh grade. As she got into high school, I think she kind of blossomed as being almost the social coordinator. <laughs> she would bring more kids to the program than anybody I'd ever seen. Going into high school, they had the after school programs for my freshman year that I went to a lot. At the end of the week, every month, we could invite our families and we'd have dinner, which was really, really nice, especially coming from a low income family. And then junior and uh, senior year was definitely like very crucial. Like I would go after school to study, which was very beneficial because I'd have that period of time where I was like, I have to study, this is a study hall. Or I'd get to socialize if I had nothing to do. We took 
her and her father to the National NSEP Conference. It was her first time on a plane. She'd never done that before. I got to go to San Francisco because um, I was chosen by Gear Up for their youth leadership program. Everything about it was just professional and it was uh, perfect. They got her everything, all the tools that she needed to get ready for college. And uh, somehow she got a full scholarship to Purdue. And I think that Gear Up had 100% to do with that. I had never gone to school without sports. It's something that sort of evens out the academic stress. I had toured Purdue with Gear Up a few times and we had toured the Corec, which is where they have a memorial up of Amanda who went to the Olympics on the rowing team, which was really cool. And I was like, that is something I can do. They have it at Purdue. I need to put my energy somewhere and out on the water I just feel like this is what I'm meant to do. In a boat, I'm not only doing it for myself, but I'm also doing it for like my teammates. Getting off the water and just like knowing we did our best is amazing. I always get better, there's always a way to get better, there's always a way to get faster. In high school everything seems so easy and I didn't have to study that much at all. I would just do a few practice problems and be done. But going into college I was terrible at studying. And so I ended up like looking through my old gear up packets of how to study and like how to form an actual study schedule. I needed that and gear up actively provided that. And then they also helped provide me with textbooks, which was really, really nice. So I had like these resources which I needed as an integral part of like studying as well as like learning the course materials being provided to me from gear up. They also provide a amazing tutoring site and they also sort of like had that support with me. At any time I could text Dr. Virginia or Mr. Faith. She initially went to be a biochem major. That first year of college is very vital. If a kid has really any major hiccup, there's a pretty good chance that they leave college going. Um, and may never come back. I realized that biochemistry, like the major I chose, was just not for me. Like I had to do years of prerequisites and there's a probable that I did not get into a lab or a lab I wanted. And it was a lot, a lot of just like applying theorem to like concepts. She emailed me and she's like, hey, can we talk? So we, we talked about it and she's like, I wanna switch my major. And I'm like, okay, what do you wanna switch your major to? Entomology. And I'm like, entomology, that's an interesting like switch. We were talking about it and she remembered this and I hadn't. The first experience we had with kids in Gear Up was we sort of did this road show. And one of the things is we had Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And that was such a formative experience and such a positive experience that when she got to like do entomology in a lab at Purdue, she was like, I wanna do this the rest of my life. It was life changing in a real way for her. It's just the, one of the greatest programs for any of the students who are wanting to do an after-school activity that's gonna forward them into the world. Gear Up has just been amazing, not only because it helped me in such a wonderful way, but I've also spoken with hundreds of other students who have been impacted by Gear Up and how it's led them down a path in life in which they never would have had if Gear Up hadn't taken them under its wing and helped them through middle and high school and then of course into college or after high school education or just directly into the workforce. It is an insurance the youth of today will definitely succeed after high school. Cool. It's more than just a program. It's something that influences like kids that come from low income family and provides that support for them to be able to grow, to achieve whatever they want to believe in. That's literally what Gear Up did for me. My name is Zion Adekwe. My free time, I love dancing, I love playing ping pong, I love riding my bicycle, I love singing. I went to Arsenal Technical High School. I'm now at Purdue University in Annapolis. I'm from Nigeria originally. I was like 13 years of age when I came here. I said I had to like get used to the way like English is spoken here. Interacting with other people was kind of super hard. I was always afraid of whether someone would like judge me because of my accents or because of my appearance. Gear Up was sort of like a community for me. I heard about it through Sarah Newson. I was struggling in one particular class. Mr. Newson was like, hey, why don't you like 
like just come for our after school event. Zion, um, I first met when he came to after school tutoring. He was one of our regular students. He was here almost every Tuesday and Thursday unless he had some other after school activity that he was doing. So basically what we do is we help high school students be prepared for whatever their next step is. Whether that is college, whether that is trade school, whether that is vocational program. Gear Up is a program that encourages students to be successful in anything they put their mind to and to provide that extra support for everyone. That was how I got to initially meet Mr. Adams. Zion was a student in my AP Physics class. He would regularly come after school for Gear Up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Gear Up's primary number one thing is we're here to help you to help yourself grow and learn and to improve your grade in your classes. Gear Up not only provides them with academic opportunity for growth, but it also provides them with food, which for some of our students is not a small thing. I would say the most important thing, food. <laughs> Probably a lot of food. <laughs> like for after school events, probably like snacks, the probably like different events, sort of like make high school students feel like less stressed about like the SAT and the ACT. They're not just like reaching out to like a particular group of people, they're reaching out to everyone, ensuring that like every kid can have the opportunity, especially like low income family. There's a lot of students at Tech who are first generation or who have even come from other countries that may or may not know how the college system even works. And so helping them even know what to do to apply for college or that they need to fill out the FAFSA. It's not that they can't do it, they just may not have known that they needed to do it. They assisted me in my FAFSA. All of the scholarships that I got wouldn't have been like possible without the help of like the girl staff that were able to like assist me with like my application essay. I remember that time I was like scrambling. I was like, where am I gonna get help from? There are so many tremendous ways that Gerop has helped Zion. They make you feel comfortable as even a parent to reach out to them. There is no discrimination. It just felt like we're family. It's a space where you have paid professionals who are certified educators who are here to help you with anything that you need help with. Did I mention that there are snacks and that there's transportation? A team of people working together to like ensure that your success is attainable. I was not used to having that much of a resource while growing up. Being able to get that support encouraged me to like further my education. He was selected as one of our leadership students on a conference to Washington DC and so I had the opportunity to spend a week with him and his mother and some other students. We all went on the Washington DC trip, sort of at like a leadership summit. We got to be able to like speak to different people, industry leaders that I probably have never met in my entire life. And I felt pretty like important. <laughs> During my time at Washington DC. That was a pretty cool experience to meet new friends and know like other peers that are like doing great things even at a young age. So it's quite like motivating for me to also like keep on pushing. I still keep in contact with all of my friends from that trip. So it's kind of like insane. Like just meeting people from all over the world, like places I never even knew existed before. While in college, I was able to request that Gera provided me with some books, and that was really helpful for my undergraduate like career because like books are super expensive. And that's like part of the reason why I love the program. It's not just like to support you when you're in high school, to sort of like reach out supporting me through from like high school to college. It's more than just the program, it's something that influences like kids that come from low income family and provides that support for them to be able to grow, to achieve whatever they want to believe in. That's literally what Gear Up did for me. I wouldn't have been able to even thought about like attending college without them. Gear Up is it's just a bomb. <laughs> I, I have no more adjectives for it.